Hey everyone, as you just watched, that was a diamondback terrapin laying an egg. Uh, I had two females, it was their first time laying eggs, and unfortunately, usually with terrapins that lay their first set of eggs, they don't actually nest them a lot of times, they just drop them in the water. And unfortunately, the two terrapins did lay all their eggs in the water, but two. Uh... The egg that you actually saw laid, uh, it was a extremely small egg, and when it hatched out, the terrapin did not make it. But uh, the larger terrapin hatchling that you see right here, swimming around, is from uh, one of my females. So we did have one make it. The other one is a purchase. I just like the look of this terrapin. I just want to see how it grows. But uh, yeah, this so the larger hatchling right there was hatched by me. Uh, incubated for male. And it disappeared. Well, it's... But uh, yeah, so that's the only good news. Unfortunately, the female that you did see laying the egg in the video double clutched and I'm not exactly sure what happened but uh, she passed away with the eggs inside her, her uh, I'm not sure why the, I was still in the time frame where uh, if things were looking like she wasn't going to lay them that I had time to take it to the vet but she passed away early so yeah that sucks that was my first diamondback terrapin that I ever purchased actually that passed away that laid the egg in the video anyway so this is one hatchling hatched by me this year hopefully we get more eggs next year so let's go outside and check on those guys all right, I separated these two. Um, four months ago, I posted that I was trading three female turtles. Um, this is supposed to be a male. His tail is pretty large for its size. I think he's about only three inches. He should be male. Uh, and that is a definite male. So just showing those two off that I traded for. Alright, let's go to back to the main tub area. Alright, I am not sure how well this is gonna be filmed since there is a giant glare on the water. But uh let's see since I did a lot of trading, uh, that female right there is an original that's been in the group. This female right here, you saw the hatchling inside, that is from her. Let's grab uh, this girl right here. Uh, this was one of the wrong terrapins sent to me. It, she is a blue concentric. She is pretty darn nice looking, so I am going to keep her in the group. Uh, looks like she did have marks on her skin, I'm not sure from packaging, but those should heal up. But uh, yeah, so got her. Oh, I see another one down here. Uh, if you are subscribed to me, this is the female from the last unboxing video. Again, really good looking female. She should look incredible once she actually sheds. Let's see if I can find some other friends. Uh, 
I'm not sure if these were shown before. Uh, these are two male concentrics. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, let's put this one. This white male concentric here, he's really good looking. I'm actually going to let a friend borrow him. Because we're doing a deal. I'm not going to ruin the surprise. Hopefully everything turns out. So, uh, this male is going to be borrowed for his concentric group. And I'm also sending a female along to breed with something else. But again, I'm going to keep that a surprise. That we should see much, much later down the road. Let me see if I can... Oh, I know. It's always hiding in there. This female right here is going to be breeding with uh, different subspecies of diamondback terrapin just to see what we can get. But again, I'll leave the male that's going to be breeding with her a surprise and hopefully she does lay eggs this spring. Let's see, uh, there are three other diamondback terrapins. They are inside the house. Um, Hart, again, if you're subscribed to me, he's a really spotted white concentric male. One of the females bit at him, so he is separated. Just so that a uh, bite mark can heal. And basically another f two females are in there for the same thing. One of the females that I have is kind of aggressive and during feeding time if anybody gets near her she will bite at them so I have three terrapins that are inside separated right now just so their bite marks can heal uh, these guys are slowing down so uh, they will be going into hibernation probably in the next month by November so everybody got moved into this one. I shut down the waterland tub. Another blue concentric that I have. I really like her, her uh, bold spots, that's why we have her. Oh yeah! That is... I don't know if you can see that. But that was the northern that I hatched last year. Swimming off. So that is basically everything that's new. So, uh, I don't know what my next video will be. Probably not till springtime. I lie. I'll do something in the winter for you guys. But, uh, that is it.